Hey guys, you know who it is, what's going on, when it's happening, where it's at, and why we're here today. How you doing? It's me, the sublimely magnificent one, big up with himself, Omari Ellis, back with some more of Feo Fantasy. So the last one, you know, was another one of those voiceover ones where it was less of the let's play aspect and more of just the gameplay with me doing the voice acting. I've decided I'm gonna just go back to the first format I had where I play and talk to you and stuff like that. And so, we will continue our game with everybody meeting up or going to Trino, probably arriving at Trino in all honesty. Let's go. Alright, now we're going to Trino. Here we are. Dark city of Trino. Princess, princess, this is Trino. The city of nobles. Hmm. We need to find out which noble has the super saw. Well, there aren't many nobles living here. The nights are long. It's a great place for thieves. Ugh, people like you, uh, people like you, turned this city into a slum. <sighs> Let's just steal the super saw and get this over with. Steal. How dare you! Do you think I'd let you commit a crime before my very eyes? How else would we get the super soft? Quiet! I will not allow such disgraceful behavior. I never, hey, I never asked you to come along, so quit complaining. Ugh, don't you talk back to me, first of all. Uh oh. Do not interrupt me while I'm talking. Look behind you. What? Princess, I urge you not to. Oh, princess? Oh, no, not again. No, not again. Never, never have I dealt with such hardship in all of my 18 years of service. This is because of you and your scoundrel friends. Gone. <clears throat> An Alexandrian knight must not let such a frivolous matter get to him. I must find the princess. <laughs> Poor Steiner. Poor Steiner didn't know what to do. Trino, Trino tradition. Do, 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 do. Come back here! Was that a pickpocket? I should be careful. Hey, where's my money? Pickpocket! Dagger lost 500 gil. Damn, <laughs> Dagger just got body. Alright. I think I go this way, the same way she went. Oh, another ATM. Pursuit. <laughs> that was too easy. Huh? Ah, dang it! It's too much like Senna. Which way did he go? I can't believe I got pickpocketed! Dagger sucks. My dagger voice sucks so much. <laughs> wow. I couldn't see her well in the dark. Wow. I couldn't see her well in the dark before. She's a real cutie. She's 16. Grow the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Good girl shouldn't be walking around alone at night. <laughs> it's time for me to get ready and move on to a new city. Jesus Christ, people. She's only 16. Oh, another ATE. Confusion. Lots of ATEs in this city. Huh, this is not a very nice city. Huh, I'd better find a super soft fast and get back to Alexandria. Huh? Ah, um, you know, maybe not this way. <laughs> yeah, won't find a super soft over there. Oh! I love the music here. Excuse me, have you heard of a thing called Super Saw? Huh? My wife? Ah, she died three years ago. No, I'm looking for an item that cures all petrification. Oh, really? I'm doing fine, but uh, thanks for asking. Yeah, I may be old, 
But I'm still healthy. Um, uh, thank you very much. Hey, you're still young. Don't give up. Good luck. <laughs> oh, old oh, man. But yeah, I remember when I first came here, I was like, no, oh, this is an interesting city. Tons of ATEs, it's fun though. Hey, who's this? Hey, it's this guy. Hey, what do you want? Have you seen a beautiful young princess? I mean, a, a girl around here? Nah, I didn't see any cute girl with long hair. What? What did you say? Uh, uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I never said I stole any money from her. <laughs> Look, I, I bought a power belt with the money. Here, I'll give it to you. Forgive me! Come back here! Howard. Yeah. Oh, Steiner. I'm so mad. But yeah. When I first came in, I'm like, no, I want to see what's up with Zane and the others. But then at the same time, I was like, you know what? How do you, how do you like the scenery? Isn't it beautiful? It looks splendid. But isn't it dangerous around here? <laughs> I'll protect you. Here's the fountain. Hmm, there's a tin gill coin in the water. Hmm, you feel happier. I think I have to keep throwing gill into this fountain. Or not. I could be wrong. Oh, okay. I have to do it like 13 times. This is so silly. <laughs> Come on, Steiner, get happy. Show you with the princess, and you entrusted her to some thieves, and then she ran off by herself. That's one of those things I'm sure a lot of people miss on their first playthrough. Another coin appeared when you threw in your coin. It's the Gemini. Hey, look at that. Alright, so you get the Gemini Salazio here. Yeah, you get the Gemini Salazio. Oh man, another AT. I'm telling you, all these ATEs. Meeting place. Hey there. Is everything okay? What the heck are you talking about? Oh hey, it's you! <laughs> Where you been, Marcus? Uh, you know, around. Hehehe. <laughs> the man's waiting for you. Yeah, <laughs> true! You're late. You're late. You're late. There we go. You're late. Yeah, a lot happened. Kind of tired. Uh, no excuses. You're ready to go. You found it? You found the Super Saw? <laughs> yeah, in a noble's mansion. You'll go by boat. You'll go by boat and break in tonight. Leave it to me. I'm the one who'll save our bro. Yeah, it's just that you got two liabilities coming along. Now we move on. Oh, we got these kids. <laughs> Take a good look around, Mario. We're gonna get out of this slum someday and live in a mansion on the waterfront. Yeah, we're gonna become nobles, right, sis? Oh, look at them. Little kids trying to, you know, dream big. Ooh, unexpected. Six hundred gill! Nine hundred gill! Oh, this must be an auction house. Maybe I can find a super salt here. Hmm? Da -da -da. <laughs> uh oh. Got this junker. Nobles are all living the life of luxury by the sea, while I'm drunk living on the streets. Last thanks. Yeah, well, go Good <laughs> moogle. Got a moogle being chased by a dog. <laughs> Real, really good friends. Can I help you? Uh, sure. You got a letter from you? Oh, there's a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together, Koopo. Stiltskin, the monster. There's trouble in this rainy city. The guys I saw there were headed toward Voob Desert, west of Bermicia. 
they'll only find sandstorms. What could they possibly want? I'm gonna follow them and see! What the- <laughs> Boob Desert is so far away? Stutzkin's amazing! Kupo! Can I help you? You got a letter for me to give somebody? No, you just want mail. Okay. Yeah, now for those of you who didn't watch the early parts and just like, what's with that Moogle sounding the same as the Moogles. Also, I don't think I've explained myself so far, like what's going on here. Here for the first time or so. Allow me to do so. You see, I was aspiring actor, now I'm just a unrealized dream actor, I guess. Uh, still kind of aspire, but more accepting of reality. I don't need to go in here just yet. But pretty much, one of the act one of the avenues of acting, obviously, is voice acting. It's something I've always wanted to be, you know, always been interested in, but never quite had the skills for. There we go, get that gill. Yeah, get that gill, get that money, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I think I can just go to the auction house now. But pretty much, I'm not that good at voice acting, so I'm like, you know what, I want to get some practice in it. I also really wanted to play through all of Final Fantasy IX again. Because the past few playthroughs I've done with this have always got it stunted for whatever reason. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone, practice voice acting, and play through a game I really like. And what better way to practice slash learn voice acting than playing through the game and doing as many of the voices as I can. Obviously, I suck at voices of people born with different parts than myself. Sorry, I don't know the politically correct way to say that anymore. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Either way, here we go. Also, I made the Moogles all sound the same. Some people all sound the same. Like, most old people are going to sound the same. All the Moogles are going to sound the same. Because as a kid... The Moogles all sounded the same to me anyway. Ah! Princess! <laughs> Thank goodness I found you. I was so worried. How can I find Super Soft when I have to keep listening to your complaints? Oh, such harsh words. <sighs> I don't think he's here anyway. Where's Marcus? I... I do not know. Hmm. Maybe Marcus found it already. Well, are you coming? I mean, I'm going, with or without you. I... I shall follow you, princess. Hmm, I've seen him before. Oh, Jesus, Dobin's artifact. Alright. So she saw that person before. We still don't, we know it, we as the audience know it's Kuja, because we saw him at the end of, uh, the Burmesia attack. Alright. Oh yes, the Salazio house. Please, pl pre please, <laughs> please bring the Salazio to the Queen when you find him. The Queen will reward you with a gift when you do. You collecting star shit coins called Stelazio. Oh, you have the Scorpio. Give it to me for a reward. Will you give me your Scorpio? So for those of you who don't know anything about the Stelazio, they literally serve no purpose except giving it to this lady. Like, I kind of wish there was like, you give this lady all 12 and get something, or you get something else later on and you gotta decide which one you want. But I also, but pretty much, I don't even know why they give you the option. Just give it to her. Oh, you are the most kind. Now, give it to me! <laughs> so rude. That exclamation point, though. Quack, 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 quack. You may take the reward from my servant. Thousand Gill. Oh, you have the cancer! <laughs> Also, these are all named after Zodiacs, American Zodiacs, so no, maybe not American Zodiacs, but uh, not the Chinese Zodiac, pretty much. Whack, whack, whack. You may take the reward from my servant. She just, she's just gonna keep saying whack, whack, whack every time. Give me the Gemini. Pretty sure there are 13, I want to say. 
There's either 12 or 13 Salazios. 12 used to be the max of the Zodiac, and as far as I'm concerned, the actual max of the Zodiac. Uh, I don't give a damn about an Ophiuchus. Quack, quack, quack. Blood Sword. Yes. By the way, this is one of my favorite weapons of the game. It won't be used for too long. But it's damn good. Oh shit, give him a better helmet. Do I got better other shit for him? Now, why do I like the Blood Sword? It's for this ability right here. Oh, doesn't tell. It has Life Steal. It's so good. Especially if you're trying to, like, solo grind with Steiner later. Which I will be doing, probably mainly off screen. Alright, we're at the end. Here we are. We're ready to take. Uh, we're ready to return. We're ready to retrieve the Super Saw. Good! Oh, good! At last, we can sell. Sounds terrible. See. If I'm doing this while I'm on camera with you, imagine how it is with me constantly rewinding and having to listen to it again. Oh, good. At last, we can save Blink. When do we leave? Well, we leave. We can. We can leave right away. So you're coming along, huh? Are you ready? Sure. Let's go. Princess. Pr Princess, please wait. Boss is waiting at the dock. Boss? You mean? <laughs> yep. There's only one man we call Boss. <laughs> Poor Steiner. <laughs> Princess, please wait. It may be a trap. You cannot trust criminals. Think of the consequences. You're a princess. If the queen hears about this. <laughs> Prince princess, do you know that breaking an entering is a crime? I need to make sure you don't steal anything else. Let's go. Ah, uh, damn it! I am... I am coming along. It is my duty to protect the princess from bad influence. It is my duty to protect the influ... It is my duty to protect the princess from bad influence. Eh, uh, do whatever you want. Always talking about your duty. Ain't you got any thoughts of your own? Don't you talk back to me! I am escorting the princess! Uh, thought you might have changed after traveling with Zidane, but... Yeah, you ain't changed. You even know why you're here? What do you mean? Let's just go, okay? <laughs> By the way, fucking love the Kuja themes. I love the organ. And of course, the We Will Rock You. I'd clap and bang harder, but I sprained my wrist earlier this week. I took off the brace because it has a little like palm support thing that gets in the way of holding a controller. Mm, sorry, I got distracted. Hmm. How is Benicia? How is Benicia? <laughs> Not bad. Better if I didn't have to see those vermin and the ugly elephant lady. They offend my senses. Ah, you must be tired. <laughs> It's not over yet. The rest of the vermin, the rest of the vermin must be done away with. Will you be heading to Clara then? Yes. I trust you will deliver them? <laughs> Certainly. I shall prepare now. By the way, did you see a pretty young lady in the crowd today? She's 16. <laughs> a pretty lady? Hmm. Shall I arrange a meeting? <laughs> There's no need. The canary I've been after. She flew into my cage of her own free will. Hmm? <laughs> Never would I have imagined running into you in a place like this. 
it must be fate. But you cannot rest your wings yet. Fly home to your mother, my little canary. <laughs> I too will welcome you with open arms. My favorite voices like to do Arsteiner, Kuja. <laughs> I like the most of the Tantalus people too. What world am I doing? I'm assisting thieves in committing a crime. No. I must be patient. Protect the princess. Escort her back to the castle and focus on your duties. Trust the queen. She would never commit such an atrocity. There must be a good reason. No thoughts of my own. <laughs> Nonsense. How can I, a lonely knight, understand the queen's thinking? I need not worry about the ramblings of a criminal. Just think about escorting the princess home. Probably never see him again. He was the culprit. He pulled the princess and me out of him. He pulled the princess and me into his intrigues. It was your fault, Sedane. If you hadn't treated me like a child, I wouldn't be here hunting after super salt to save one of your friends. Why am I doing this? Because Blink saved me? Yes, he saved me. He saved my life. The least I can do is return the favor. I never thought of things like this before. I like the little introspective things they do with this game. I really do. Now, how are we to find Super Soft in this mountain of boxes? I just find it. Hmm? Wait, someone's coming. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I ran out of ink on a night like this. I must find more ink and bring it back to the observatory. Should I take care of him? What? Wait! Princess, no! Hmm? Hmm? You are... I've missed you, Dr. Todd. But Princess! Princess Garnet! Dr. Todd? You know him? Dr. Todd is the highly respected scholar who tutored the princess. Ah, Master Steiner! You must be quiet or you'll wake the shopkeeper. But Princess, what on earth are you doing here? It's a long story. We're looking for Super Soft right now. Uh, th th there is a proper reason for this. Uh, we're not here to steal or commit any form of crime. Somebody down there! Hmm? Oh, run right along. I will give you super soft later. Go left from the tunnel entrance and continue until you find a large tower. The tower is my home. It's locked, but I shall unlock the door and await your arrival. All right, let's head back. Thank you, Dr. Todd. I'll see you later. Oh, it's you, Dr. Todd. Ah, oh, great timing. I ran out of ink. You should have called me. I'll get yelled at if our inventory's wrong. Hmm, princess. So, uh, this Tootsie's gonna give us super soft? Uh, it's, it's Todd. <laughs> well, whatever. I can't believe Tantalus is at the mercy of some old man. Hmm. I guess we gotta keep babysitting the princess. Still? Well, he ain't gonna give you the super salt unless you're with the princess. Well, that's the deal, princess. I'm take I'm asking you to take Marcus to this tooth. It's tot. I was going to anyway. 
Well, we'll get some rest before you go. I'm sure Ted... Uh, well, get some rest before you go. I'm sure Ted needs time to prepare. Uh, it's, it's time. That was one of the bits I always liked about this game, just him constantly messing up Dr. Tot's name when it's a real easy name. It's... It's Tot. But Maku just keeps messing it up with Tootsie and Ted and Toot. Alright, so before we go see Dr. Tot, I'm gonna go ahead and see what items and stuff I can buy. But yeah, so, obviously, Trino and everything. Dr. Tot was also another one of my favorite characters to, like, voice to myself, because when I was younger, I used to play these. I said this in an earlier part, but again, if you're a first-time watcher, it's like, Dr. Tot was one of my favorite characters to voice when I was younger, just because for whatever reason, I gave him that damn near Mario voice. I don't think I need a yellow scarf. We'll worry about that in a second. I think I have this. I don't have a Kasusa. Alright. I'm gonna get all this stuff. Alright, so as I'm going through the city, to say stuff. But yeah, Dr. Todd. He had the borderline Mario voice where he's like, ooh, ooh, princess. And I don't know why. I always like, I feel like he's part of what helped me learn how to roll R's. I still can't roll R's, like, without, like, taking the conscientious effort to do so. I'm not, like, a native language speaker of another language where it's just literally second nature. And there's some letters that it's harder for me to roll the R after. But I still like doing it. What can I do for you? What's that monster down there? That monster is of the Knight family who owns this building. Or the master of the Knight family who owns this building keeps that monster as a pet. He likes to see people talented and get beat up. Oh yeah? Well, I want to fight that monster. Are you sure? Can't guarantee your safety. We'll fight him. Send in Steiner. Steiner's got the blood sword, so... This is why the blood sword is great. Oof. Heal. Heal. <laughs> Shout outs to the moon. Okay. That might hurt. If this doesn't murk me, I am going to win this fight. Because there's nothing he can do that I can't out heal. But he can't out heal my attacks. See, he does like 270. I do that much. Steiner! The homie. actual tank. Wow, I can't believe it. Here's your prize. A card. Cool. Now I forget, is there another monster in here? No. Alright. Well, we beat the griff the thingy. Alright. Alright, go ahead and save real quick. Let's save, Koopo! But yeah, Dr. Todd, I remember playing through this game a while back with some friends. And another reason I chose Final Fantasy IX for this whole thing is, uh... When I was younger, like I said, I used to read the voices, uh, read the game out loud and give people different voices in my head slash vocally. And I remember playing this game, trying to convince some friends to play it, and we got at least this far. I think we got to halfway through just two, maybe just three way back when and I uh what did I do oh I gotta buy wrist somewhere else okay whatever I don't care enough 
Alright, and I uh, got to this part and they were just like, why is he Mario? I'm like, I don't know. The same thing, they were like, why are the Moogles Mickey Mouse? I don't know. I mean, they're not exactly Mickey Mouse. I can't do a good Mickey Mouse impression. Ha uh ha! -huh. That's all I got. Oh, I got a little bit of a goofy, but it's not the best. <laughs> Gosh, Mickey. That is terrible. Whatever. I have a little bit of a goofy impersonation. Just got to believe me. <laughs> I saw him! I saw an old man with glasses walking out of this tower. This is big. Okay. Give me that dagger. A dagger for dagger. Alright, so now we're gonna head on up the castle. Oh? And there he is. Dr. Tut. Dr. Tut. Ah, princess! <laughs> Thank you for coming. Welcome to my humble abode. This is your home. Hmm. I've traveled. Uh, I traveled quite far in search of a sponsor for my research after I departed Alexandria. I finally found one here in Trino. You've grown into a fine young woman. I am pleased to see you again. Dr. T Dr. Tut, you look quite well. Ah, Master Steiner, are you escorting the princess? Uh, yes, sir. I deeply regret my earlier actions. Ah, <laughs> still a straight arrow, aren't you? I'm sure you had your reasons, but I won't ask why. The super salt is in the box right there. Please, take it. Don't mind if I do. Have you no manners? Thank the good doctor. Ah, it's quite alright, Mr. Steiner. Now I can save my bro. I can't believe I must travel with the lowly criminal. <laughs> oh, Steiner. Never change. Master Todd? Is this Gaia? Ah, yes. It is a globe of our... It's a globe of our planet. Gaia. Not Earth. Gaia. I remember your lessons. Ah, you remember the ramblings of an old fool. Two phrases commonly found in documents more than 500 years old. One is jewel... The other is Summoner Tribe. But 500 years ago, the phrases mysteriously vanished from history. The archaeologist Frederick Ash theorized that Jewel refers to the pendant passed down to the ruler of Alexandria. But the pendant? It's much too small to be referring to the same Jewel. Other research suggests a relationship between Eidolons and magical stones. Dr. Todd! <laughs> ah, princess! <laughs> were, were you reading big books again? <laughs> I've already read every book in this library. But I think I'm better. But I, but I think better when I'm surrounded by old books. Really? I don't like books. Ah, you're a person of dignity. It is imperative that you study hard. I know, I know. Oh, but I was quite taken by that book you gave me. Uh, what was it called? It was... Uh... Was it... Oh, was it... I Want to Be Your Canary by Lord Avon? Oh, yes, that's the one. So that is a book I like after all. This game is obsessed with that play slash book. That is like the most popular play like in the fucking world of Gaia. Why am I? What's this, Dr. Todd? Ah, that is a globe of Gaia. It's a model of our planet. A Gaia globe? I never knew our castle was shaped like a sphere. <laughs> we live on the surface. We live on the surface. See, I can't roll the R with surface. Oh, there we go. We live on the surface, princess. Hmm? Ah, yes, the stars. They inspired the theories related to stones and Eidolons. Hmm, 
that is why. Oh, sorry, I was lost in thought again. It's okay. Where's my room on this globe? <laughs> oh, your room is much too small to point out on this globe. What about the castle? That I can do. Oh, an Uncle Sam's castle. So, how long has it been? Eight years? Ah, uh, time passes quickly. But I haven't changed. I continue to collect and research these items. Where did you find this globe? It's an antique. It's broken, as you can see, but I use it as an observation deck. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Looking up at the sky from inside a globe. <laughs> it sure is. Uh, princess, I don't mean to meddle in your affairs, but... I am on your side, now or forever. Please tell me if there's anything I can do. Dr. Todd. I see. So the Queen's forces have grown, have already grown quite powerful. Okay then, it may be dangerous, but I shall see to it that you reach Alexandria. How? I had an old transportation device remodeled in case of such an emergency. This way, please. Ah, <laughs> ah, we can finally return to Alexandria. I'm coming with you. What? Why? Well, I can rescue, I can reach Blink more easily from Alexandria. <laughs> yes, come with us, Marcus. Okay, Steiner? <laughs> Let's go save Blink and restore my mother to her former self. Such optimism. Alright, moving on. Please be equipped for battle. There are monsters underground. Please take the ladder inside the hole and down whenever you're ready. Yeah, so... I was debating whether or not I'd do this next part as its own video, but I think it's pretty short, so I'm gonna continue it here. As the last little addendum. Ah, this is Gargan Rue. An ancient travel route between Trino and Alexandria. What? Why was this thing built under a tower? Well, actually, Gargan Ru was in use long before the invention of airships. The tower was built on top of the disused tunnel. But it looks fairly new. I convinced Mr. Bishop to keep the place intact. I haven't used it since it was remodeled, mind you. We must first activate the tunnel connection sequence and call the guardians inside. Oh, let's see. Where was the sequence trigger? So, all we have to do is find the sequence trigger. Princess, let us find it. I'm suddenly eager to help. Can I help you, Kupo? Uh, do I have something for you? Oh, I have a letter for you. Thanks for delivering the letter from Asma, Kupo! Grimo in South Gate's Bolden Station sent me a letter saying that he feels sad when he sees Mary in love. But I think he feels that way because Grimo himself was in love, Kupo. Am I right? Oh. I also know that Nasna is in love with Grimo. I want mail, Kupo! Alright, so. Speaking of that whole grinding thing, this is a good bot for grinding. I'm not gonna grind right now on camera. But I am gonna go ahead and uh, save. Alright. Boom, boom. Alright, now. Do the thing. Did I mention I love all the music in this game? Boom, 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 bo
Boom, 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 boom. Pull the lever. Oh, oh, random fight. But yeah, let's see, what's been going on lately? Like I said, Final Fantasy VII is coming out. Remake, I played the demo of that. It was fantastic. Oh, they sound good. Get out of here. I'm gonna waste my MP on y'all. Actually, Dagger can't do much right now, anyway. I love that the sword, the blood sword, has an eye on it like Soul Lich. Like, I feel like it got more detail, more of that detail in uh, the PC version, because it did not, I don't believe it had that same amount of detail before. Oh man. Now I remember my first time coming to this game, this part had some enemies that I did not like or agree with. It's because I got body. Nowadays. Nowadays, I be too smart for the tag. See murder? Be known for keeping rocks up in the skips bag. What song is that from? See who watched this long and who answers these questions. But no, nowadays, I got my stuff. Ah! This is it! This is where we call the Gargant inside. What do you mean? Gargant Rude Terminal Station is shaped like a circle. When you pull on that lever, Gargant circles around the station con continuously. I don't understand what you're saying. Better to show than tell. Princess, will you pull on the lever over there? What is it? Giant bug thing. Don't, 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 don't. What's that? Ah, perfect timing. This is the gargant, a giant insect that pulls this trolley. Next, we must halt the gargant. Now, it took me forever to put the fact that gargant, it's just gargantuan ant. But you just start stop the word gargantuan before the chewing. Ah, where was the lever? Oops. It's down here. It says speed. Ah, yes, that's the one. The gargant should stop when you pull the lever. I mean, it's not a bad system, in all honesty, for it to be, like, a very primitive, like, transportation system. Please, hurry. It will resume once it's finished eating. Are you sure it won't keep going around in circles? It won't. I'll reverse the connection sequence and let the Gorkin out of the station. Please look after the princess, Master Steiner. Of course. Now, the princess is bright, but she's still young and naive. I am concerned about her safety. Please make your own decision at the matter at hand. Please make your own decision on the matter at hand and protect her. But the, I am I am but a humble knight. I cannot exceed my authority. I cannot exceed my authority. Is that an honest answer? You may endanger the princess if you keep telling yourself that. I, I shall take note of your counts, counsel. Very you will, princess. Take care, Dr. Todd. Huh, I must hurry. I just pour the lever. Be safe, princess. He cares. Ah, finally. We can reach Alexandria now. Can't even see Trino anymore. I wonder how long it's going to take. I've never dreamed of going home in a vehicle like this. 
Dr. Top remains quite a unique character. Hmm? What's wrong? It's hesitating. <gasps> How about a princess? Uh oh. Could this be the reason? Maybe. So we got us a boss fight. Let's whoop it ass. Gargant is tired too. I never knew such a place existed in Alexandria. Where are we? Let's keep moving. Is this really Alexandria? Well, it must be. How do we get out? Hmm. Well, this way. Princess, let us make haste. Wait, Steiner. I know this place. Dr. Todd told me about this place. My ancestors built this place to keep enemies from invading. Dr. Todd also said... Princess, we can hear your stories later. The stale air cannot be good for us. Yeah, we gotta save Blank. Right, we need to hurry. Let's go, Steiner. Uh oh. You! What kind of trick is this? I didn't do anything. Don't blame me. You really didn't do anything? You don't believe me? Yeah. Now look, we missed our chance to escape. Ha <laughs> ha! They, they fell for it. They fell for it, they did. Zorn! Thorn! I am Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto. I have returned. Now let us out at once. <laughs> Too bad it is. You're all under arrest. You're all under arrest. Thorn! Thorn! I've returned to Alexandria to speak with my mother. Take me to my mother! Ah, oh, yes! We will take you to see Queen Brené, whether you like it or not. Capture Princess Garnet, Queen Brené said. Order that she did. What? Lies! Wait, what's going on? Game freeze? Okay, <laughs> like did the game freeze? Meanwhile, can you stand for you? It is nothing. Take it easy, okay? How about you, Vivi? Uh, I'm alright. So, uh. What now, people? Or so what now, people? They said they were they said they were going to Clara. We have no choice. We must go to Clara too. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. You coming, VV? Do you think we learn more about those black mages if we go to Clara? 
Yeah, I'd say we'd learn a lot about them as long as we follow Brene and that Kuja guy. But I'm with you. Clara? Hmm. Sound yummy. I'll go with you. Uh, oh! And what about the princess? Dagger? <laughs> Never forget about her. <sighs> she might not be here in Bermisia, but I know we'll find her soon. Well, let's move out. Some say it lies in the desert west of Bermisia. But I've not know but I know not whether we can enter the town itself. Well, brighten up a little. We'll figure it out when we get there. Dagger. Where could you be? Alright, so that's that section of game. And we're stopping in here. We usually go like town to town. Gargan Rue is like that little ten minutes or whatever tops. So I threw it in with the Chernobyl part. So, again, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can catch me on twitch.tv slash geotavi. I'll be streaming a lot more. But, yeah, you guys have a good one. Oh, and, yeah, don't punch a wall. You'll sprain your wrists. Or maybe punch a wall. Don't, don't, don't pound the wall repeatedly, like, with every syllable of a sentence that you give. That's probably not a good idea. This, this part of my, of this hand still kind of hurts to touch a week later. This is, well, I sprained it. So yeah, be careful out there. Have a good one. Adiosness.